What's up, nation? Nightflyer here. And give me one second, guys. I know that noise is atrocious. I don't know why it's not opening up my volume mixer. Alright, let's turn that down. Alright, let me explain why here in a second. I'm playing Super Smash Land. It's an indie game. It's supposed to be like Smash Brothers remade for the Game Boy. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We have arcade mode, endless mode, versus and options. Let's take a look at options first. Options all you have are on off switches. You have full screen on off, music on off, and sound effects on and off. You don't have a slider for music or sound effects, which is why I had to turn up outside the game, which was kind of annoying, but I quickly got over it. So let's continue. You have controls, you had your shared controls, and player one, two, three, and four. So this game does have multiplayer, which is why there's a versus screen, obviously. So, Endless and Versus, and then you have Arcade. We're going to go through Arcade just to show you each game type. Let's start with Arcade, though, since it's the first. In Arcade, you get to pick your character. You'll see I already have, you start with Mario, Kirby, Link, and Pikachu, and I already have Vaporeon and Mega Man unlocked. So I'll explain how to unlock each of those at the end of the video. But you see, you see you have one dot, two dot, three dots, one dot, and then the dot with the X through, and I'll explain each as we go. This is your first standard Smash match. Let's, uh, you have a down B move like I'm doing right now. Oh, jump is a button instead of up arrow, which I thought was weird at first, but then I got used to the controls and it made more sense. And then you have a, you have all your different moves. You have, like just in the original, you have a jump to get back on the platform just in case, you know, stuff gets hot and heavy. You can see I'm fighting Kirby right now. The mechanics are very solid. This is a favorite in my computer class for us to play. I mean, we enjoy this game quite a bit. And you'll see I knocked him out of the arena, which is one way to win. And it's the only way I've saw to win. And you get a store, score at each end of the game. And that's my total score for the game. And we continue. And you have shadow matches, which are kind of weird. Like right now, the only way you know I'm Pikachu is because I'm just as player one. And that's, oh! And I died. Stupid of me, yes. And did Pikachu just kill himself? Nope. I remember on Smash Brothers on the Nintendo 64, he killed himself a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Headbutt. That's a new move, Pikachu. I've never seen Pikachu use Headbutt. Of course, I wasn't a Smash Master. You see, it even has the damage counters at the bottom, which is neat. So you can do a, you can inflict just a ton of damage. Oh, heal me, heal me, aw. And just beat the crap out of your opponent until they eventually just go off from the slightest hits, which I've seen happen a lot on the original Super Smash Brothers. Also, Pikachu was one of my favorites on the original Super Smash Brothers. I love the crap out of Pikachu. Just because he was so, I think, versatile in any arena. Alright, let's get the score, though. Alright, now I'm up to 1600. Alright, and this is the triple match. Any character can be the triple match. Just so you know. I've seen all of them be the triple match, and that's all annoying. Every time. But they're easy to beat, usually. Woo! That was close and It's not just a triple match, it's a multi-match, which means there's a lot of these dudes. Just like the um, Yoshi or Kirby. I know I'm referring to the N64 version a lot, but it seems to be the most popular version. From what I remember, I mean, that's the only one I've ever really played. I mean, I had Melee, never even bought a Wii to get Brawl, so I mean, you know. People tell me I'm missing out, but really, I love the Nintendo 64 version. That's just my personal opinion. Crap. I'm back. And only one left. Headbutt, and he's back. Got him. Choo 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 choo.
Yay! Alright, so now we're at the Mario stage. <laughs> All right. And the mechanics, like I said, get kind of weird sometimes. Just because of the jump being a button instead of the up arrow like you think it would be. But, I can understand. Okay, sorry guys, had a minor retard there. Don't know what happened. Just stopped working all of a sudden. But went right back into playing. Never had that happen in all the time I've played Smash Land. Definitely a very new glitch. If it's, oh, and he punched me in the face. How won't you die, Mario? You have like 99 damage. Yeah. Yeah! Look at the draw. Alright. Now I'm going to show you this unique boss battle Mega Man. Now let me just show you something. Mega Man has two lives and is the absolute. I, I promise you, I'm not going to be able to beat him. I can already tell you, I've tried, and getting Mega Man is the hardest character to unlock in the game. It's literally the hardest thing I've ever done is unlocking Mega Man in this game. And I'm dead. Literally, he had 100 damage and wasn't flying off the screen, so he's impossible to beat. Alright, let me show you endless mode. All it is is, I think it's... Yeah, it's literally endless mode. You're just practicing moves against the other characters. And then you can just pause it. And then endless mode is just the endless mode of fighting enemies and whatnot, silhouettes of enemies. Then you have versus mode, which is you and friends versus each other. And that's about it. Let me just cover the extra characters. Um, the only way to unlock Mega Man is to beat the whole game with each character once. And then. I can't really show you Vaporeon because it's so hard. It's just a thing of chance, just getting on the Pokemon level and then her jumping out and you blasting her off screen. It's the only one to unlock her. But that's about it for this game, guys. It's been Super Smash Land with Nightflyer. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter at Nightflyer Nation. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Night Nightflyer out.